In abstract algebra, the direct sum is a construction which combines several modules into a new, larger module. The direct sum of modules is the smallest module which contains the given modules as submodules with no unnecessary constraints, making it an example of a coproduct. Contrast with the direct product, which is the dual notion. The most familiar examples of this construction occur when considering vector spaces modules over a field and abelian groups modules over the ring Z of integers. The construction may also be extended to cover Banach spaces and Hilbert spaces. Topic: <laughs> Construction for vector spaces and abelian groups. We give the construction first in these two cases, under the assumption that we have only two objects. Then we generalize to an arbitrary family of arbitrary modules. The key elements of the general construction are more clearly identified by considering these two cases in depth. Construction for two vector spaces Suppose V and W are vector spaces over the field K. The Cartesian product V times W can be given the structure of a vector space over K Halmos 1974, section 18, by defining the operations componentwise V1, W1 plus V2, W2 equals V1 plus V2, W1 plus W2 Alpha V W equals alpha V alpha W for V V one V two element of V W W one W two element of W and alpha element of K. The resulting vector space is called the direct sum of V and W and is usually denoted by a plus symbol inside a circle. V W display style V O plus W it is customary to write the elements of an ordered sum not as ordered pairs v, w, but as a sum v plus w. The subspace v times 0 of v w is isomorphic to v and is often identified with v, similarly for 0 times w and w see internal direct sum below, with this identification, every element of v w can be written in one and only one way as the sum of an element of v and an element of w the dimension of v w is equal to the sum of the dimensions of v and w one elementary use is the reconstruction of a finite vector space from any subspace W and its orthogonal complement R N equals W W display style math B R carrot N equals W O plus W carrot perp this construction readily generalizes to any finite number of vector spaces Topic construction for two abelian groups for abelian groups G and H which are written additively the direct product of G and H is also called a direct sum Maclean and Birkhoff 1999 section V.6 Thus the Cartesian product G times H is equipped with the structure of an abelian group by defining the operations componentwise G1 H1 plus G2 H2 equals G1 plus G2 H1 plus H2 for G1 G2 in G and H1 H2 in H integral multiples are similarly defined componentwise by N G H equals ing N H for G in G H in H and N an integer this parallels the extension of the scalar product of vector spaces to the direct sum above. The resulting abelian group is called the direct sum of G and H and is usually denoted by a plus symbol inside a circle, G H It is customary to write the elements of an ordered sum not as ordered pairs G, H, but as a sum G plus H. The subgroup G times 0 of G H is isomorphic to G and is often identified with G, similarly for 0 times H and H see internal direct sum below. With this identification, it is true that every element of G H can be written in one and only one way as the sum of an element of G and an element of H. The rank of G H is equal to the sum of the ranks of G and H. This construction readily generalizes to any finite number of abelian groups.
Topic: Construction for an arbitrary family of modules. One should notice a clear similarity between the definitions of the direct sum of two vector spaces and of two abelian groups. In fact, each is a special case of the construction of the direct sum of two modules. Additionally, by modifying the definition one can accommodate the direct sum of an infinite family of modules. The precise definition is as follows Borbaki 1989, section 2.1.6 let R be a ring, and me, I element of I a family of left R modules indexed by the set I. The direct sum of me is then defined to be the set of all sequences alpha I display style alpha underscore I where alpha I element of M I Display style alpha underscore i in m underscore i and alpha i equals zero. Display style alpha underscore i equals zero for cofinitely many indices i. The direct product is analogous, but the indices do not need to cofinitely vanish. It can also be defined as functions alpha from i to the disjoint union of the modules mi such that alpha i element of mi for all i in i and alpha i equals zero for cofinitely many indices i. These functions can equivalently be regarded as finitely supported sections of the fiber bundle over the index set i, with the fiber over i element of i display style i in i being m i display style m underscore i this set inherits the module structure via component wise addition and scalar multiplication explicitly two such sequences or functions alpha and beta can be added by writing alpha plus beta i equals alpha i plus beta i display style alpha plus beta underscore i equals alpha underscore i plus beta underscore i for all i note that this is again zero for all but finitely many indices and such a function can be multiplied with an element r from r by defining r alpha i equals r alpha i display style r alpha underscore i equals r alpha underscore i for all i in this way the direct sum becomes a left r module and it is denoted i element of i m i display style bigger plus underscore i in i m underscore i it is customary to write the sequence alpha i display style alpha underscore i as a sum sigma alpha i display style sigma alpha underscore i sometimes a primed summation sigma alpha i Display style sigma alpha underscore i is used to indicate that cofinitely many of the terms are zero. Topic properties: the direct sum is a submodule of the direct product of the modules mi Borbaki 1989 section 2.1.7 the direct product is the set of all functions alpha from i to the disjoint union of the modules mi with alpha i element of mi but not necessarily vanishing for all but finitely many i if the index set i is finite then the direct sum and the direct product are equal each of the modules mi may be identified with the submodule of the direct sum consisting of those functions which vanish on all indices different from i. 
With these identifications, every element x of the direct sum can be written in one and only one way as a sum of finitely many elements from the modules μ. If the μ are actually vector spaces, then the dimension of the direct sum is equal to the sum of the dimensions of the μ. The same is true for the rank of abelian groups and the length of modules. Every vector space over the field K is isomorphic to a direct sum of sufficiently many copies of K, so in a sense only these direct sums have to be considered. This is not true for modules over arbitrary rings. The tensor product distributes over direct sums in the following sense, if n is some right R module, then the direct sum of the tensor products of n with me which are abelian groups is naturally isomorphic to the tensor product of n with the direct sum of the me. Direct sums are also commutative and associative up to isomorphism, meaning that it doesn't matter in which order one forms the direct sum. The group of R linear homomorphisms from the direct sum to some left R module L is naturally isomorphic to the direct product of the sets of R linear homomorphisms from me to L. Hom R I element of I M I L I element of I Hom R M I L display style operator name hom underscore r bigle bigger plus underscore i in i m underscore i l bigger kong prod underscore i in i operator name hom underscore r left m underscore i l right. Indeed, there is clearly a homomorphism tau from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, where tau theta i is the R-linear homomorphism sending x element of me to theta x using the natural inclusion of me into the direct sum. The inverse of the homomorphism tau is defined by tau minus one beta alpha equals i element of i beta i alpha i display style tau caret minus 1 beta alpha equals sum underscore i in i beta i alpha i for any alpha in the direct sum of the modules me the key point is that the definition of tau minus 1 makes sense because alpha i is zero for all but finitely many i, and so the sum is finite. In particular, the dual vector space of a direct sum of vector spaces is isomorphic to the direct product of the duals of those spaces. The finite direct sum of modules is a byproduct, if P K A 1 a n a k display style p underscore k a underscore one o plus c d o t s o plus a underscore n to a underscore k are the canonical projection mappings and i k a k a one a n Display style i underscore k a underscore k maps to a underscore one o plus c d o t s o plus a underscore n are the inclusion mappings. Then i one p one plus plus i n p n Display style i underscore one circ p underscore one plus c d o t s plus i underscore n circ p underscore n equals the identity morphism of a one n and p k i l display style p underscore k circ i underscore l is the identity morphism of ACK in the case L equals K, and is the zero map otherwise. Internal direct sum 
Suppose m is some R module, and m is a submodule of m for every i in i. If every x in m can be written in one and only one way as a sum of finitely many elements of the m, then we say that m is the internal direct sum of the submodules m. Halmos, 1974, section 18. In this case, m is naturally isomorphic to the external direct sum of the m as defined above. Adamson, 1972, p.61. A submodule n of m is a direct summand of m if there exists some other submodule n of m such that m is the internal direct sum of n and n. In this case, n and n are complementary submodules. <laughs> Universal property In the language of category theory, the direct sum is a coproduct and hence a colimit in the category of left arm modules, which means that it is characterized by the following universal property. For every i in i, consider the natural embedding j i m i k element of i m k Display style j underscore i m underscore i right arrow big O plus underscore k in i m underscore k, which sends the elements of me to those functions which are zero for all arguments but i. If phi me m are arbitrary r linear maps for every i, then there exists precisely one r linear map f i element of i m i m display style f big o plus underscore i in i m underscore i right arrow m such that f o g equals phi for all i dually the direct product is the product topic grothendieck group The direct sum gives a collection of objects the structure of a commutative monoid, in that the addition of objects is defined, but not subtraction. In fact, subtraction can be defined, and every commutative monoid can be extended to an abelian group. This extension is known as the Grothendieck group. The extension is done by defining equivalence classes of pairs of objects, which allows certain pairs to be treated as inverses. The construction, detailed in the article on the Grothendieck group, is «universal» in that it has the universal property of being unique, and homomorphic to any other embedding of an abelian monoid in an abelian group. <laughs> <laughs> Direct sum of modules with additional structure If the modules we are considering carry some additional structure e.g. a norm or an inner product, then the direct sum of the modules can often be made to carry this additional structure, as well. In this case, we obtain the coproduct in the appropriate category of all objects carrying the additional structure. Two prominent examples occur for Banach spaces and Hilbert spaces. In some classical texts, the notion of direct sum of algebras over a field is also introduced. This construction, however, does not provide a coproduct in the category of algebras, but a direct product see note below and the remark on direct sums of rings. <laughs> <laughs> direct sum of algebras A direct sum of algebras x and y is the direct sum as vector spaces with product x one plus y one x two plus y two equals x one x two plus y 1 y 2 display style x underscore 1 plus y underscore 1 x underscore 2 plus y underscore 2 equals x underscore 1 x underscore 2 plus y underscore 1 y underscore 2 consider these classical examples r r 
Display style Math BF R O plus Math BF R is ring isomorphic to split complex numbers, also used in interval analysis. C C Display style Math BF C O plus Math BF C is the algebra of tesserines introduced by James Cockle in 1848. H H Display style Math BF H O plus Math BF H called the split by quaternions, was introduced by William Kingdon Clifford in 1873. Joseph Wedderburn exploited the concept of a direct sum of algebras in his classification of hypercomplex numbers. See his lectures on matrices, 1934, page 151. Wedderburn makes clear the distinction between a direct sum and a direct product of algebras. For the direct sum, the field of scalars acts jointly on both parts. Lambda x y equals lambda x lambda y. Display style lambda x o plus y equals lambda x o plus lambda y. While for the direct product a scalar factor may be collected alternately with the parts, but not both lambda x y equals lambda x y equals x lambda y Display style lambda x y equals lambda x y equals x lambda y. Ian R. Porteous uses the three direct sums above, denoting them two R two C two H Display style carrot two R carrot two C carrot two H as rings of scalars in his analysis of Clifford algebras and the classical groups 1995. The construction described above, as well as Wedderburn's use of the terms direct sum and direct product follow a different convention from the one in category theory. In categorical terms, Wedderburn's direct sum is a categorical product, whilst Wedderburn's direct product is a coproduct or categorical sum, which for commutative algebras actually corresponds to the tensor product of algebras. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Composition algebras. A composition algebra a *n is an algebra over a field A, an involution asterisk and a norm n x. Topic x x asterisk. Any field K gives rise to a series of composition algebras beginning with K and the trivial involution, so that n x x two. The inductive step in the series involves forming the direct sum AA and using the new involution x y equals x minus y. Display style x y caret asterisk equals x caret asterisk y. Leonard Dixon developed this construction doubling quaternions for Cayley numbers, and the doubling method involving the direct sum AA is called the Cayley-Dixon construction. In the instance beginning with K. Topic: <laughs> The series generates complex numbers, quaternions, octonions, and sedonions. Beginning with K. And the norm n z equals z2. The series continues with bicomplex numbers, biquaternions, and bioctonians. Max Zorn realized that the classical Cayley-Dixon construction missed constructing some composition algebras that arise as real subalgebras in the z2 series, in particular the split octonians. A modified Cayley-Dixon construction, still based on use of the direct sum AA of a base algebra A, has since been used to exhibit the series, split complex numbers, split quaternions, and split octonions.
Topic direct sum of Banach spaces The direct sum of two Banach spaces X and Y is the direct sum of X and Y considered as vector spaces, with the norm, X, Y, equals, X, X plus, Y, Y for all X in X and Y in Y generally, if she is a collection of Banach spaces, where I traverses the index set I, then the direct sum I element of I she is a module consisting of all functions X defined over I such that X I element of she for all I in I and I element of I x I x I infinity display style sum underscore I in I x I underscore x underscore I the norm is given by the sum above. The direct sum with this norm is again a Banach space. For example, if we take the index set I. Topic n and she. R, then the direct sum i element of n x i is the space L1, which consists of all the sequences i of reals with finite norm, a equals i, i. A closed subspace A of a Banach space X is complemented if there is another closed subspace B of X such that X is equal to the internal direct sum a b a o plus b. Note that not every closed subspace is complemented, e.g. C0 is not complemented in infinity L inf t. Topic: <laughs> Direct sum of modules with bilinear forms. Let me by i element of i be a family indexed by i of modules equipped with bilinear forms. The orthogonal direct sum is the module direct sum with bilinear form b defined by b x i y i equals i element of i b i x i y i display style b left left x underscore i right left y underscore i right right equals sum underscore i in i b underscore i left x underscore i y underscore i right in which the summation makes sense even for infinite index sets i because only finitely many of the terms are non-zero. Topic: Direct sum of Hilbert spaces. If finitely many Hilbert spaces H1, Hn are given, one can construct their orthogonal direct sum as above, since they are vector spaces, defining the inner product as x1 x n y1 y n equals x 1 y 1 plus plus x n y n display style langle x underscore 1 x underscore n y underscore 1 Y underscore N wrangle equals Langle x underscore one Y underscore one wrangle plus plus Langle x underscore N Y underscore N wrangle. The resulting direct sum is a Hilbert space which contains the given Hilbert spaces as mutually orthogonal subspaces. If infinitely many Hilbert spaces hi for i in i are given, we can carry out the same construction. Notice that when defining the inner product, only finitely many summons will be non-zero. However, the result will only be an inner product space and it will not necessarily be complete. We then define the direct sum of the Hilbert spaces hi to be the completion of this inner product space. 
Alternatively and equivalently, one can define the direct sum of the Hilbert spaces ρ as the space of all functions α with domain i, such that α i is an element of ρ for every i in i and i α i to infinity. Display style sum underscore i left α underscore i right caret two. The inner product of two such function α and β is then defined as α β equals i α i β i. Display style angle α β Wrangle equals sum underscore i Langle alpha underscore i beta underscore i Wrangle. This space is complete and we get a Hilbert space. For example, if we take the index set i. Topic N and she R, then the direct sum i element of N she is the space L2, which consists of all the sequences I of reals with finite norm A equals I A I two Display style left a right equals SQRT sum underscore I left a underscore I right carrot two Comparing this with the example for Banach spaces, we see that the Banach space direct sum and the Hilbert space direct sum are not necessarily the same. But if there are only finitely many summons, then the Banach space direct sum is isomorphic to the Hilbert space direct sum, although the norm will be different. Every Hilbert space is isomorphic to a direct sum of sufficiently many copies of the base field either R or C. This is equivalent to the assertion that every Hilbert space has an orthonormal basis. More generally, every closed subspace of a Hilbert space is complemented, it admits an orthogonal complement. Conversely, the lindenstrauss zafriri theorem asserts that if every closed subspace of a Banach space is complemented, then the Banach space is isomorphic topologically, to a Hilbert space. Topic. See also Byproduct Indecomposable module Jordan-Holder theorem Kroll-Schmidt theorem Split-exact sequence